You're watching Local 5 News. We are Iowa. It's a crucial part of a healthy diet, but most of us aren't getting enough. Not talking about water. No, we're talking about fiber. And joining us now is Kara Swanson with Life Well Lived. Kara, thanks for being with us today. Um, <laughs> We don't really talk about fiber in our daily routines, you know. Everybody talks about not drinking enough water, but fiber, let's talk about good foods for fiber. Are most of us not getting enough? Yeah, so fiber is powerful, so we need to be talking about it more. Um, but yeah, only 5% of Americans are getting the right amount of fiber. Um, so women should aim for 25 grams, men should aim for at least 38 grams. So more is even better when it comes to fiber. What are some of the best foods? Easiest go to in the grocery store, head to that. I'm assuming a veggie aisle, um, some fruits. What is your top, you know, easiest go to's? Yep, so veggies and fruits, obviously, um, legumes, so black beans, chickpeas are awesome sources of fiber, um, chia seeds, flax meal, whole grains like oats and quinoa, um, those are all really awesome and very easy to incorporate. So I'm just going to put this out there because a lot of people complain about get, how fiber makes yes. them bloated. What is that about and is there a way to avoid that? Yeah, so a lot of times when you do start, you know, to incorporate more fiber, you might feel a little more bloated, maybe even gassy, um, but that's just your body getting used to it. So give it some time, maybe start with a little bit less, don't go like full fledged, right? And have, you know, 50 grams of fiber if you're not, if you're only having zero, right? Um, so ease your way into it and that'll subside and then you're gonna feel amazing. So when you're initially getting more fiber, you might have some discomfort through the day. Yes. <laughs> that's normal though, it's okay, oh. yes. <laughs> Do you recommend sticking with natural, the fruits, the veggies, um, grains? Uh, do you recommend those, you know, fiber bars that claim to give you all the fiber that you're missing in your diet? I, I don't um, because it also comes with a lot of other processed stuff and you can much more easily get all the benefits and so much more through those whole plant-based, you know, foods. Um, so how much, let's say a meal, you got some protein and then a plate of veggies or legumes, like how much serving size is good to keep up with? Yeah, so it just depends on what it is that you're eating, but if you aim for eight to 10 grams, you know, per meal, you're gonna be able to get your, you know, or if you incorporate some snacks too, you know, you're gonna be able to um, get that, that goal in. And when you're not getting enough fiber, what does that do to your body? Yeah, yeah, I mean, well, fiber, you know, increases the metabolism, it turns down your cravings, it turns down, you know, the hunger hormones, so you're fuller and you're, you know, you're less hungry. So that's, you're missing out on a lot of these benefits. It's also anti-inflammatory, you know, so we wanna be incorporating more of these foods because it's really gonna help you not just weight, but also just health-wise too. Before we go, I usually check, you know, breads or any kind of processed carbs I'm getting for how much is should be a rule of thumb for the amount of fiber it has three grams more uh what's the level of processed level we want yeah so you want to look for something that i mean like if it's bread you know maybe five grams of fiber is good um obviously that's going to have less fiber than like your beans right um so just kind of adding it all up getting as much of the whole you know plant foods that you can is going to be even better all right, dropping knowledge on the fiber. Thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, yeah, always good to me. have you.